sometimes that love can be hard and foolish. Sometimes it is. So my question to you today is, do you wow. love yourself? You know, before we get started with you, Chico, I, I wanted to talk about what today was, Valentine's Day, and I wanted to, to really go into the love and, and let people know that it's so important that you love yourself. It's so important that you love yourself. Uh, I want you to evaluate how are you loving yourself. Are you seeking love from others because you hmm. don't love yourself? Ask yourself that question. Are you seeking love from others because you don't love yourself? And for some people, love comes in different formats. Sometimes for some people, love is attention. Sometimes love is affection. Sometimes love is, you know, passion. There's so many different types of love. But I really, really want you to understand on this day that love is not supposed to be hurtful. It's not supposed to hurt. Love is supposed to feel good. It's supposed to make you happy. It's supposed to be all those bright and fuzzy adjectives that make you feel good on the inside and out. On the inside and out. Am I right? A hundred percent. You know, so I, I just wanted to remind you guys. So, I want to let you know uh, over here on the StreamYard and Facebook and YouTube and LinkedIn that I guess it's over on Instagram today. So if you want to follow, come on over to Instagram at Shout Crystal. Come on over to Instagram at Shout Crystal because we're going to be talking about some things that have to do with women. We're going to talk about Tico's life, but Tico's done a lot of things for women. He's done a lot of things to help ladies. And so I thought this was a great day to have you because at first I was trying to figure out what mm -hmm. I was going to do today on Valentine's Day, right? But sometimes I just yield. I just yield and I let things go the way the Spirit leads me. And so I was led to just, you know, I said, you know what, this is perfect. Tico is the right person for this show today. He is the right person for this. So I just wanted to pop in over here and let y'all know I didn't forget about y'all, but I need you to come over to Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, follow me today. Come check it out at Shout Crystal. And I promise you, you won't regret it. I want you to ask yourself, do you love you? And make sure the answer is yes. And do, does your love feel good? That's my question for you. Is does your love feel good? The love that you give and the love that you receive, does it feel good? That's the question. Hour. Don't you love feel good? I'll see you guys over here. Come check me out, okay? God bless. I love you. This is Crystal Sharp Crystal on IG, okay? So Instagram. Tico Flores in the building, y'all. Hey, when I do this, I usually have an intro song that I do. I, I come on and, and I recognize people and uh, we, we do the, the Kelly Price thing and we acknowledge that it's your turn time to shine, and, and that's what we do here, you know, and I appreciate you taking time out because I know that you, you is, is that your I'm wife sorry? or your girlfriend? Are you married or is that I'm your I'm single, girlfriend? and when you say long-time girlfriend, who are you referring to? Okay. I I, I don't know. I'm, oh, I'm wondering, oh, do you have okay, a woman that's been in your life? I'm you about to say, you, maybe you yeah. discovered something that I don't even exist. No, no, I'm a, I'm a lifelong bachelor, and right now I'm, I'm, I'm single. I'm not dealing with anyone, and uh, I'm incredibly happy. Oh, wow, that's good. Well, before we start, let me do this here right quick so I can make sure that I give you the intro that I give everybody because I always let everybody I always pop it up like this. So just, Because it's your time. It's my time to shine. It's my time to live. It's my time to shine. It's my time. It's, you know, it's my time. Ooh. It's my time. Yes. And that means you, Chico. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm going to stop it right there because, you know, I never knew. Sometimes I do think I don't know why I'm doing them. You know, I say that I'm led by the Spirit because I really do try to be led by the Spirit. And so uh, I felt like that gives people some kind of feeling to know that it's their time to shine when I when they come on this platform. And uh, I'm well, you know, how you thank doing? you. I'm well. And how are you? You are well. I'm doing amazing. So uh, you know, I know who you are, but I want you to take a minute just to share with the people yeah. a little bit about Chico Flores, 
I could talk about Tico from New York City, from Jamaica High, my classmates from Jamaica High. You know, I could tell people some of that stuff. You know, I could say he's an actor, he's a fitness instructor based out of New York City. You know, I could say he's been in, involved in martial arts oh, yeah, for 50 years. Just, and uh, currently just, dated, just dated TICO, myself. So they might recognize <laughs> you know, I could say that. I'm about ready to get that Social Security, I guess, over 50 years in the martial arts. It's it's amazing when you think about it. I don't feel I'm I'm, I'm going to be 64. I don't feel 64. Uh, I've been told I don't look 64. Well, um, I hope they're not lying to me. But the, the bottom line is, is 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 this: when I wake up in the morning, I don't wake up and say, "God, this is a a body that's soon to be 64." Uh, I, I don't think that way. I don't know if this is a good thing or not. I find that with the exception of people like yourself, uh, people like you've had on the, on the show previously, like uh, Mahali Obathea, Master Mo, who's a good friend of mine, a fellow martial artist and, and actor, stuntman, um, with the exception of good folks like yourself, my immediate friends or the ones that I've made over the past, say, five to ten years, are considerably younger than I am. And this wasn't a conscious effort, but a, a lot of it has to do with my attitude. Uh, the fact, fact that I train, I'm, I'm in the gym quite a bit. I work out uh, with these guys. In some instances, I train them. And it's just that most of the folks that I came up with have fallen off, so to speak. And uh, mm. of course, we all have. That's a gentle. That's a gentle way of saying they look rough. Well, they could. Because <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Sometimes you look at some people, you go, "Damn, yeah, yeah. might beat them up." That's like, whoa, you know. And you don't mean it, but you, it just they wear yeah, they yeah. wear their life on them. It's like you can see that they they've been through some things, and some people cover up true. better Very than true. others. I mean, that's why I appreciate you so much. You're out there. If you're not swimming, you're doing aerobics, you're dancing, you're always doing something. And at the end of the day, in, in particular, because I have a class, women only, and I say women, mature women, not, not young women, mature women, I always tell them, stop worrying about getting to that size two dress. You ain't going to get into that size two dress anymore. Those days are over. Being fit. Being healthy, not just physically, but mentally, spiritually, doesn't mean you have to get into a, a size two dress. 